time to make some soap. Today we are making, um, I'm gonna call it tea and tobacco. It's a, a fragrance oil that I have, I used a really long time ago and um, to make a, a different kind of soap. But this one we're gonna call tea and tobacco. It's gonna look nothing like the, the one I did before. It's actually one of my very favorite um, fragrance oils. Um, it is um, sweet, spicy, earthy, which is all totally in my wheelhouse for what kind of fragrances I like. Um, the, fra the fragrance oil description says it has hints of fruity wine and spices, incense, and earthy patchouli. So spicy, sweet, and earthy, totally my jam. Alright, so that was my um, lie and our goat's milk solution. Um, and now we're going to just blend this up with a um, stick blender. So this one has accelerated on me before, even though the scent, the fragrance oil description says it does not. Two out of three times, um, it accelerates. Don't know why, same recipe, same everything, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna leave that as a, at a light trace, and I'm gonna pour a little bit off um, into some separate containers for some colors, and we'll be right to say was I'm gonna pour off some for colors before I add the fragrance oil just in case. Now this one, I actually have just some um, organic cocoa powder in this one, which is going to be um, what represents my um, tobacco portion of the tea and tobacco. So we'll leave that. Now to the rest of it, I'm going to add some activated charcoal because our main um, base of the soap is going to be gray. So let me get that in here. So totally naturally colored, this one. But we are using a fragrance oil, which is a phthalate-free fragrance. And like I said, one of my favorites. I really like the earthy stuff. And all the like manly soaps, although the ones that smell like fragrant or I can't, well, you know, colognes. I don't know, I always like the spicy, sweetie, earthy, because I really like patchouli. Although I hate to, I hate to admit it, but at first I really did not like the smell of patchouli when I first smelled it. It kind of had to grow on me, um, but it was requested a lot from um, people who um, were buying our soaps, so started making one specifically for the market that I was attending at the time. Isn't that pretty? I love using activated charcoal and soap. It has so much, so many benefits on its own. So like if we stopped right now, this would be an awesome soap. Detoxification, um, it's wonderful to, and absolutely and essential to have on hand if you have pets who could be around, who go outside, really, because, you know, live animals could get around poisonous snakes, spiders, anything, no matter where you live, unless you live in a bubble. So it's good to have on hand for incidents that your dog or any kind of pet or livestock could get um, bitten or stung or whatever by something poisonous, or even ingest something poisonous, which we have had happen um, a couple of two times, no, I shouldn't say a lot. Well, two, if you count, the one was three, um, one incident, two animals that were affected. One survived, one did not. After someone accidentally um, gave our goats um, some azalea bushes on accident. So anyway, I'm gonna get my fragrance oil poured in here. I'm gonna save just a tiny little bit for our brown. 
And I'm just gonna mix this in by hand. It's really behaving well, but just in case, because that can change in an instant in soap making. But today is really behaving very well, so I'm kind of excited about that. Because that means I'll be able to do the design that I wanted to do pretty easily without having to stress. Stress is bad. All right, so we're going to pull my mold, my um, brambleberry mold over here. I usually don't use the rambleberry mold for any scents that are kind of manly, which I guess you would consider this one manly, especially with the, you know, inference of tobacco. But um, I like this one, so I would say it's unisex. All right, so I'm just gonna pour all of this in. Very simple soap, but in its simplicity, it will look amazing. So shiny. Look at that, it's like glass. I'm gonna get my bowl scraped out, my little container scrapey, scrapied. Alright, scrape, scrape, scrape. So we can get all that soapy goodness in here. Kind of hate to disturb all that shiny we got going on, but it won't stay looking like that, so we gotta do something. All right, so this is behaving exceptionally well, which means that what I, the texture I'm gonna do on top is gonna have to wait for a few minutes. So we'll let this set a few minutes, and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna add my brown, um, down one side. And this isn't all gonna go in here, so I have another mold on the side over here for it. And then I'm gonna just use my spoon to kind of texture this side a little bit and flatten out the, the brown. And then we're going to add some tea leaves some organic um, black tea leaves and some red rubios tea leaves mixed together, um, which kind of, to me, resembled the tobacco when my dad was um, young in the early 80s smoking. I don't know if this was a thing, but uh, like, I remember like tobacco shops in the mall and my dad used to go and get, he used to smoke a pipe and um, I just love the smell of his tobacco. and. When I blended this together, it, it kind of looked exactly what I can remember his tobacco looking like. Although I do not condone smoking in any way, shape, or form because it is horrible for you and can give you cancer. So let's not do it, <laughs> but we can enjoy the memories of the scent because it does smell amazing. Kind of like cherry and uh, which was the like fruity. So that's why I thought this is what it, exactly what this smelled like. So I'm just gonna use a fork and we're gonna drag this across. And I'm gonna leave the brown side alone. So we're just gonna drag across half. To the edge. to get some nice cool grooves go and try to keep it straight all right so now I'm just going to um you know what this kind of see is up okay what should I do I think I needed to do a little something with that. So. All right, 
So I'm gonna use a little, just a little bamboo skewer. And just kind of swirl that a little, swirl the brown a little bit to give it a little bit more texture than the, just the flatness that we got going on here. All right, and then I just made a mess. So go back and tidy that up. All right, that's better. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use my little, just sprinkle some of my tea mixture down the brown side. And I've never done a top like this, but um, you get kind of bored doing the same thing all the time. So I just thought I would try this one out and see how it looks. And I really think I like it, I really like it. See any little spots I might have missed? All right, so you guys will have to let me know if anybody is old enough to remember tobacco shops, if they, or maybe they still have them in, in malls and stuff. None of malls I have ever been in still have them, but needless to say, I do not go shopping. I hate malls. It's just not, I'm, I just don't like lots of crowds. And um, I'm just not a big, huge shopper, so I really never, unless my kids need, want to go, or we make a trip once a year during Christmas time to go to the um, like Hallmark store and see the ornaments. And that's about the extent of my mall experience. But if um, you guys have any experience with them, um, let me know if you remember tobacco shops um, in the malls and if you remember the smells of all the tobaccos and if you liked that or if you hated it or whatever. Um, let me know what you think and let me know if, what you think about this um, soap top and anyway we will be back in um about 18 to 24 hours to cut it up and we'll see what it looks like on the inside okay, so this one's like super simple um i did kind of get a tad bit of soda ash on top um but i think it kind of makes it look and it did it has um lightened to the color i wanted which was like a dark um charcoal kind of ash color but anyway so um i'm just going to um cut my little end piece off and as they're all going to look the same inside. Um, so I'll just quickly cut a bar and let you know that we do appreciate everybody's um, subscriptions and we do hope that if you um, like this video you will give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you want to see more and leave us a comment and let you know how you liked the, um, the top on this one. And, um, anything else you might have what you'd like to have seen or want us to try out or just any comments about soap making the process any questions you might have um just leave us a comment and please subscribe and that is it and we will see you next time